hey sweeties welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up now in this video guys i'm gonna share with you the reasons why people don't believe ladies are my side of the story just a disclaimer this video doesn't prove anyone's innocence or guilt but it is just to highlight things that has been said to us and the actual situation now before wasting any of your time let's go straight to the video and of course i'll come back with the rest of my commentary now it is believed that this is basically what happened or where it started this was around november 2019 let me just play you this clip and you'll decide for yourself <laughs> Hmm. now first of all guys nobody knew this lady as a country we all knew that Java was dating Lady Zama until Java's mom dropped this bomb and everyone called Lady Zama a clown side chick yo guys lots of names now when Java's mom introduced her as umako everyone jumped into the conclusion that Java was actually married and that was his wife <laughs> Mm, you heard it from the horse's mouth now the first thing that doesn't make sense in all of this after the breakup lady zama admitted to have dated java but later on changed her story probably a lot of times as when we we're on the road bumping into him um i would get messages from him telling me to come wherever he was and that was the nature of whatever this whatever he calls a relationship it wasn't a relationship um, that's it Rewind that. It wasn't a relationship. It wasn't a relationship. Why? Explain for 52 marks. Why will you explain? Another thing that confuses a lot of people is uh, she got into the relationship because Java allegedly raped her, which really doesn't make any sense, but just hear it out. Besides that, what I do know is that Javulani raped me. I did not give him consent. I told him to stop. And that's how I ended up in a relationship with him. Done. That's it. What I do know is that Jabulani raped me. I did not give him consent. I told him to stop. And that's how I ended up in a relationship with him just a disclaimer guys this video does not prove anyone's innocence or guilt now guys i stand to be corrected but as far as i know if you are accused of rape you are then put in the cell in a holding cell until you appeal in front of the judge or you apply for a bail but in this video guys that i'm about to show you this java just confirmed that he was never arrested in connection with this case okay i don't want to comment much on that because it's um he said she said type of situation anyway let's go straight to the leaked voice note but i won't um I won't put on the whole thing. I'll just put on um, the important parts. If you want the whole recording, I'll leave the link below and you can watch that video. Why don't you try to talk to me? That's, what I, that's all I wanted is to get your attention. To get you to talk to me about something. Jabulani raped me. To get your attention. To get you to talk to me about something. Uh, that, that's it. Um, some recording went around for such a long time. And people were like, yeah, she admitted. Yeah, yeah. Hey. That recording was taken in 2018, August. Um, it was a very long conversation, We're not together at the time. One, two, three, both of you, move back. We were not together at the time. <laughs> Thank you.
sakadu tanda na twenty twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen August. We were not together at the time. Hi right, guys, uh, that's it for today. I'll just leave it here for part two. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Do let me know again what you think about this video and do let me know. Do tell me which side are you on. I cannot decide that. What I do know is that Jabulani raped me. And double Agnum's <laughs> remuli mean, I